Start them young, a book for fear, salute to the glute, number three, and Ask Barb coming up on helpmysquashgame.com. Hi, this is Barb Cooper from helpmysquashgame.com. And you've heard in the past couple of shows from the pros who've said they got into squash because of their parents. Parents, aunties, uncles, grandparents, coaches, I'm appealing to you. Let's get the kids on the court sooner. Let's get the kids on the court when they're three, four, five. And use a big ball, something that's light, something they're not scared of, even a beach ball. So they can learn what the ball does. They can learn how to hit it with their hand first. And then you can put a racket in their hand. And then maybe you can allow the ball to get smaller to eventually something that's close to a squash ball. The biggest thing I want you to understand is this. From the age of zero to six is the time of maximum learning. Kids are like sponges. And you're creating their foundation. So if you can get them on the court and playing ball at that age, you're going to be creating athletes. And let's hope you're creating some squash players. And now a fantastic squash book, Run to the Raw, by coach Paul Asianti, the Trinity College coach. He's the winningest coach uh, with James Zug. You have to read this book for squash players they tell you all the stories of the matches and you will see so many different ways you can overcome your fear and other obstacles. And yet again, another salute to the glute. The glute is probably one of the largest muscles that we're going to use as squash players all the time. You need to be able to stretch it before and after the match. This is how. So get any sort of step or chair and put one foot up on it and then you're going to arch your back so you extend the glute muscles a little bit and now you're going to push back you'll start to feel it in your hamstrings in your glutes and you'll find a spot which just feels good hold that there for 30 seconds and then do the other side and now it's time for Ask Barb. And the question is, I keep losing. What should I do? (laughs) Well, simple answer. First of all, pick somebody different to play. Somebody who's worse than you. But if you can't do that, I can guarantee you're losing for two reasons. One is your return of serve is not going past your opponent. And secondly, you're not able to hit decent length out of the back of the court. So in terms of practice, practice being at the back of the court, hitting the ball high on the front wall and getting it to the back of the court past your opponent, either straight or cross court, and practice volleying the return of serve deep, either straight or cross court. You'll start winning when you've got a decent return of serve. This is Barb Cooper from helpmysquashgame.com, signing off.